According to family members, the inmates are not offered good food, and on many occasions, they are not even given their daily meals. Similarly, they state that the treatment is not the best, and they expect the intervention of government agencies. Today, I want to make a public denunciation about the situation that our inmates on the New Hope prison are living. They are also human and they need that even if this government or the competent authorities to come and look at the condition in which they are living, there is no water, the food sometimes comes, sometimes not, sometimes it is raw. At the moment that one comes to the prison, it smells bad, it smells of urine, and if one says something or complain, immediately they are transferred. My complaint today is against the prison New Hope and the people of the impact because the truth seems to me that they do not have any kind of consideration for the inmates. It's okay, yes, they are given a bread and an egg daily, but that's not all. They do not have good food, they do not have good water, they have no place to sleep. Sometimes the food does not arrive on time and sometimes it does not arrive at all. In response to these complaints, this journalistic host consulted with the prison director who said that their food was indeed delivered to them and announced the times at which it was distributed. The medium security prison of San Andreas has 28 meals scheduled, which is given daily to the population deprived of their liberty. They receive their breakfast at 6 in the morning. At 10.30 we begin to distribute lunch and 3.30 in the afternoon we start to distribute dinner. Additionally, all the prisoners have a night snack. The food is balanced, it goes according to a meal schedule, it goes with some weight stipulated by a nutritionist. With strangers, I see that they publish some photos, but they do not show the totally of the food, nor what they were given that day. Their breakfast is composed by protein. They go even with an additional fruit and it juice or chocolates. Same their lunch go with soup always. Additional salad, protein, and the complementary carbohydrates and it's juice, same the dinner. Another concern for the families of inmates is the fact that the inmate store does not have the necessary products available for sale to inmates. In this regard, the director of the departmental prison said that this space had already been supplied and that they were in the process of bidding for it and that in addition, each prisoner has a bank account to which that they can consign and then use it at the store. And that store that supposedly should be working that doesn't work at all. It only has Clorox fab and they can't eat that. So they tell you to consign and when they go to it through the store there is really nothing. The internal store, like any other institution, began to make contract, but at this time, thank God, after a few long days of work, we could manage to supply it. The companies that won their bidding and know we have all the products required by the population deprived of liberty for consumption. The family go to the bank, consign the amount they want or have at the time, and they in turn use it in here. Finally, the director of the prison affirmed that there is no case of COVID-19 in the place and asked for the tranquility of the relatives since by national protocol due to the pandemic, they are not receiving visits to maintain the health of the inmates. 